Anthony Fasano here from the Engineering Management Institute. I am here with Ram Iyer from the Business Thinking Institute, and we've recorded an entire podcast about business thinking for engineers and techies, which we'll link to in the comments. But for this episode, what I want to talk about in this short video is, Ram, you've had a very successful career, and we dove into that in the podcast episode, but in this 80-20 shorts video, when you look back on your career, you've done many things to help you to become successful. But there's no doubt that you don't remember every step you took, but you remember some of the big drivers. What's one of them that you can share with our audience? See, um, everybody goes through different levels of achievement. I, I, I look at uh, life as a pyramid. It doesn't matter how high up, how high you climb on the pyramid, right. there's always somebody above you. Right. Even when you're the president of the United States, there's somebody else above you. Yeah. You may think you're the biggest dog you know, around, but somebody else above you. So don't ever get to the point where you say, I have arrived. Right. If you think you have arrived, you need to be already six foot under. If you do it any sooner, you're wrong. Right. Um, so keeping that mentality. You that have to keep that mentality. Always room to climb. Always room to climb. Because see, I, I remember when I, when I, was, uh, I went to undergrad uh, in India, when I got into engineering school, I got into engineering school and med school. Okay? That automatically put me in the top one-tenth of one percent of the entire population of India. Right. I could have said, I have arrived. But when I got there, I learned that I didn't get into the best engineering school. I didn't know any better. And I said, oh my gosh, so there are better engineers than me. Oh my God. So I said, I got to do better than my peers. Right. So then I said, I want to do something very unique. I've always wanted to do, be unique. Then I read a, an issue of Popular Mechanics and I said, I love these robots, underwater robots. And people said, you're crazy, what the hell is that? I, will you even get a job for this? I didn't know that you couldn't. But. Right. So I said, I want to study that. So I got into University of Edinburgh in Scotland and uh, in the US, I got into two schools. I came here to study. I finished that and I went to the oil industry. I said, I have arrived. And then I realized that there were a lot of other people who were, you know, who had it. Wow. And then I went on and I went to, uh, went to MIT later. And when I finished MIT, I thought I had arrived. And then I realized that there were a lot of other MIT people with PhDs. I only had a master's. <laughs> and there were people from Harvard and Caltech and Stanford. Right. Then I said, wait a minute, there's even more. So this notion that you have arrived and you're at the top of the heap is, is a mistaken notion. Look at the whole world out of pure curiosity. Huh. And as long as you're always curious about learning, because see, you have different experiences than I do. Sure. So if I look at you and say, wow, Anthony, tell me more about yourself. Tell me about your experiences. I'm going to learn. I'm going to become a better person. And hopefully, you will learn a few things from me and you too will become a better person. Isn't that what living is all about? Yeah. I want to become better all the time. And right. I make people around me better all the time. So if you take that mentality, you will always become more valuable over time. Hmm. So I'm curious as heck. Like right now, I'm, I've interviewed what, about 60 people. Next week, I'm interviewing 14 people just in one week. This is for Ram's book that he's working on yeah. about the immigrant mindset, which we also talked about in the podcast that we did together. But I, I love it, really. It's about you know keeping an open mind and never being satisfied with where you're at, thinking that you're there. See, it's not so much about being dissatisfied. A lot of people mistake that. Okay, well, it's good. Not, Let's flush that out. This is not about being dissatisfied. It's about always being curious. Okay, curious. That's a good word. So always yeah. being curious. See, you may have $1,000 in well, your shaking pocket. Shaking your hand again. Shaking your hand. <laughs> You may have a thousand dollars in your pocket, but if you're curious and there's an opportunity to make money, are you going to say no? Right. It's not that you are dissatisfied about having only a thousand dollars in your pocket. You're saying, hey, there's an opportunity to go provide value to somebody for this. If I go and provide value to somebody and they give me ten thousand dollars, I'll put it because I earned it. Right. That comes out of curiosity, not out of dissatisfaction. Right, so it's not, you never want to get to the point where you feel like you're there and you're done and you're at the top. You want to always have room to grow. If you, unless you're blind, wherever you think the top is, if you look around, there are always people at your level and higher forever. Right, and Ram gave many good examples of that here in this video between his engineering school and then MIT and, and going and going. 
And so that's cultivated that mindset for you. And it's something that I hope that you'll take away. So once again, Ram Iyer from the Business Thinking Institute. Um, thrilled to have the full podcast with Ram and also this short 80-20 video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel here because we've got a lot of videos like this and we want to continue to help you. And until next time, we hope that you continue to engineer your own success. Thank you. Good luck. PPI is a proud sponsor of the Engineering Management Institute. Thinking about advancing in your career by taking your FEP or SE exam? Visit ppi2pass.com to find everything you need to start preparing today.